The Silver Hand has been scouring the world for more pieces of Wuthrad. One group has hidden out in East March. Get it back, for the honor of us all. I'm gonna find whoever did this. All right, so um, I wanna go back to my normal form because I wanna go looting and um, you know, like to carry a torch and whatnot, and take a look at my inventory and yeah, whoa. What a night. <laughs> Jeez. What happened to my pants this time? Oh boy. Okay, I gotta lay off those double martinis. And on goes all my gear. And wouldn't you know it, the game totally screwed with me screwed with me after like put on your armor there, slack yet. After doing this this run through the entire um, Gallows Rock dungeon system and wiping out everybody as a werewolf, okay, and I completed the quest and everything. And uh, I'm going, okay, I'm mean, patting myself on the back. Did it all as a werewolf, did all my kills as a werewolf. Wouldn't you know it, the game spawns one more guy right near the beginning. I don't know, if this. I think this is a glitch, because I went into that opening chamber, I don't know, at least three times during my werewolf rampage. And that enemy was not there. So it was kind of like ruining my perfect record. At any rate, I completed the quest. Uh, entirely as a werewolf. You see that in the previous video. And now I'm just going to go looting because I, I couldn't loot anything. Check these guys out. <laughs> Love at first sight. Yeah. Alright. Uh, no comment there. Um, yeah. Is someone there? See, here we go. What the fuck? Were you just sitting there the whole time? <laughs> what? So I don't know if the game respawned her or, or what, because that I don't know how the hell. That's a pretty good kill game. So at least I got that out of the deal. Yeah, it ruined my perfect record. And now I'm just gonna like grab everything. So um like when I start looting these guys I figure it's just gonna be a lot easier to grab everything and then sort it out later when they get too heavy. Um, yeah, so, while I'm looting, uh, let's talk about Far Cry 3. <laughs> a lot of you are asking about Far Cry 3. First of all, I regularly post updates about Far Cry 3 on my Facebook page. I posted tons of updates about Far Cry 3 on the Facebook page. If you want to find out what's happening with Far Cry 3, Join me on Facebook and check it out, okay? I, I regularly keep everyone apprised about, you know, the uh, the state of the walkthrough, as it were. <laughs> and uh, long story short, Oof. it is still happening. There, I'm just demonstrating this trap here. Trap door, you can put that trap there and that, that door swings shut. So you can use that to your advantage if you're not playing as a werewolf. Actually, I've set it off as a werewolf. I think if you swipe at the uh, trigger on the floor there enough. Um... And this guy here, I talked about this earlier in the last video, this is a werewolf that's um, been caged by these guys, and if you let him out, um, you're going to have to do this if you're not playing as a werewolf, because obviously you can't lockpick while you're a werewolf. If you let him out, he'll help you, as long as you kind of keep your distance, because he, he just attacks anything, <laughs> as um, he will momentarily demonstrate. Uh, hey, hey, I'm a companion. Don't you remember? Yeah, so that's that. Yeah, Far Cry 3. Uh, I'm working hard on it every single day. Um, it's a special walkthrough. I really want to do this game right. I haven't seen anybody really do well. You know, you know how it is with walkthroughs and playthroughs and all that. You know, this I've been through all that before. Yeah, so it's a big game, and um, I want to do it upright. Uh, it's it's way different than Far Cry 2. It is not a HUDless mercenary sim, in case some of you are wondering. It's really a very different game. So it's hard to compare. A lot of you have been asking me that. Uh, what do I like better, Far Cry 2 or Far Cry 3? And how do I think they compare? Uh, they don't compare. Uh, Far Cry 2 was was a classic um, that will never be done again. You can't compare them. Far Cry 3 is a totally different game. The uh, The target audience was very different when, it, you know, what the game developers were going for. So. But if you think of it as not a sequel to Far Cry 2, it's actually a really good game. You know, I mean, like, for example, um, the save system, okay? 
uh, I really had a lot of, you know, gripes about the save system. Why can't you save anywhere, especially a game like this? You know, you want to be able to save right before, you know, taking on an outpost or something. So you can try all different strategies. If they have this, like, one save slot save system, like, kind of like an auto save plus an extra save slot, but that gets overwritten every time. And I was thinking, this totally sucks, you know. But if you think about it, Borderlands 2 and Borderlands 1 had the exact same save system. So, um,. I started thinking about that going, how come it's okay for Borderlands 2, you know, but Far Cry 3, you know, all of a sudden it sucks. I'm thinking, okay, that's because I'm comparing it. You know, I'm comparing it to Far Cry 2. So once I started thinking along those lines, um, I really started liking Far Cry 3. I think it's a great game. It's a hell of a lot of fun. And uh, if you learn, you know, to really explore, uh, which I'm going to show you in my walkthrough, um, basically it's a riot. It's a total riot. Alright, so that's the deal with Far Cry 3. I'm working hard on it every day. Uh, I really like to give an ETA, but uh, every time I do that, I end up screwing myself and underestimating, saying, okay, I'm going to have it ready in three weeks, and then three weeks comes up, and I'm not even close to being ready. I've done this before, and then everyone's screaming, hey, Slack, you said that the walkthrough was going to be ready, and I'm like, uh oh, yeah. So, uh, I don't know. Very, very rough estimate, about a month. It is tax time, like I said, so, uh, Yo, Slackster's got to spend some time working on his taxes. I'm a self-employed internet marketer, so tax time is especially nightmarish for me. Um, I do all my own accounting. I don't hire an accountant to do it for me. I'm a real do-it-yourself when it comes to stuff like that. I believe this is the skill book. Yes, it is. One hand increased. And there's another skill book later on we find here. Yeah, so a uh, very, very rough estimate a month, uh, maybe more. Um, but it is the only project on my table right now as far as walkthroughs. It is, it is I promise you, the very next walkthrough. Um, no blind playthrough project will come between Far Cry 3 and now. You know what, Did I say that right? Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to take on another blind playthrough project, um, thus uh, bumping forward the ETA for Far Cry 3. Okay, so. For example, there will be no Bioshock blind playthrough, sorry. Um, a Dead Island, I really don't know about Dead Island. Um, Far Cry 3 is going to take us probably into the summer once I get going on it. And then... And we'll have to see. We'll have to wait and see. I really don't think that far ahead. And now I'm over burden, so I have to drop a whole bunch of heavy stuff. There's a couple of imp, imp stools in here too. That's an ultimate. There, here's the other skill. Look. Smithing. I actually need this. That's an ultimate healing potion. You may get different loot uh, according to what level you're at. I think I'm at level 46, if I'm not mistaken. 45 or 46. more ultimate healing potions should be soul gem over here bit of chump change and here I'm just demonstrating how I don't get the rest bonus anymore because I have werewolf disease so my rest bonuses are gone until I cure myself and you can there's an imstool you can cure yourself from. <laughs> I didn't look up how to pronounce this. I've only read this name. Lick, lycanthropy, lycanthropy. Yeah, one of those two. Anyways, werewolf disease. Um. Well, <laughs> pronunciation Nazis. So we just have to like, you know, maybe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't look it up. I didn't have a chance to look that up. I know how it's spelled. And I'm too fat to fuck again. So out goes heavy stuff, and I think I'm pretty much... I'm in the final chamber, so I pretty much made the tour around the entire place here. So 
So out goes the heavy stuff. And then, of course, coming up next is a little business video. Get rid of all that. And I think I have to do a couple of uh, radiant quests before I can continue on with the regular companions quest line. So that's what's coming up next. And now I'm deciding, okay, that's it, I'm done looting. I don't care if I miss anything. And then I get guilted into going back because my miss a spot radar is going off. I'm thinking, okay, well, I did that a little too fast. What if I miss something like really, really valuable? See what you guys do to me. Yeah. And finally, the fuck it mentality takes over. Fuck it, Slack. Fuck it. Fuck it. Atta boy. Atta boy. Get out of here. And it's back to the beginning. Something I've been talking about lately is torches. My torches seem to last a really long time. And this one finally burnt out of me. So I I was thinking, is, have the torches been glitched or something? But no, they don't. They're not glitched. This one finally burns out of me. I think just as I, just before I go out here. Or right after I go outside. Leaving that load screen in. There we go. So the torch is going to save the game here because this is the end of the video. And I want to thank you all very much for watching. See, the torch went out. I didn't put it away. It actually burnt out. So torches still do burn out eventually. All right, so that's it. Thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this video was remotely entertaining, hey, don't forget to give the old Slackster a thumbs up. Two, three. Get some.